probably scale up the texture a lot bigger because as you can see we're dealing with bigger scales down here and I probably also want to go in and erase some of these lines in my sketch or at least hide them under some highlighting so let's go what do I want to do now? Rhino skin. Take another one. Bring it up to here. We can go up to the top. Ah, you know what? Yeah, we can go up to the top. So we'll put it there. It ended up in here. So, come on. Wonderful. Oh, pause. Alright, the young ones are back from school. Hopefully they won't interrupt too much. So let's come back here. We're not going to scale this down at all, I think. I think we're actually going to scale it up a bit. Give me some bigger areas there, scales. Let's uh, adjust the opacity so I can come in here. start erasing. Hmm. Way too close. There we go. So, we'll get rid of everything up here. We might even leave a lot of that. Where the, where the shadows are. So I'm liking the way a bunch of this actually looks. Hmm, maybe I went one too many strokes. History. We gotta love history. Gotta love history. There we go. smaller in here, huh? matches up pretty good all around here. Okay, let me opacity back up. Maybe I can do a little bit more adjusting in here just to get rid of some of these weird in the middle of nowhere scales. Just kind of go around the outside edge and make sure everything kind of almost looks like it matches up. You know, there to that. a lot more than I wanted to. Could that be because my opacity was not 100%? I don't know. Why did I lose so much on this one? Hard light. Drop the opacity a little bit maybe. Yeah. I like those dark lines. I think that'll work for this area. Another thing I think we can try is if I stick with the 100% opacity and go to soft light. Let's see, let's play a little bit. Let's try the burn. 
shadows. Okay, let's see what happens if we come in. Yeah, see? Now I can bring some of this out a little bit more. Nope, I don't like it. Get rid of the burn. I think I'm going to go with the hard light and bring the opacity down a little bit. Oh wait, you know what I'm forgetting? Soft light. I'm forgetting we doubled up. There we go. That's what I like. I forgot about that little mistake I made earlier. That now we save. Very nice. I think we'll continue down the face here with the next one. So let's go. Our layers. Grab another R skin. Move you way up here. Make you visible. Control T. Bring it down here. And we'll kind of pick up where we left off over here. Like this. I think we're going to warp this one a little bit, so I'll bring the opacity down, go into transform, warp, zoom in just a touch, and let's start to, let's bring you down. that's going to give us that little curvature around the chin there that I would like to see. So bring this in here and then bring it back out like this. It's also going to break up the symmetrical look. Down here. I think that's good. almost got that thing look going to him, right? Stony kind of thing look. same in here. 